Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for the chloride ion. So here we go. We have ClO2 minus, alright, it's going to give us seven valence electrons from the chlorine plus two oxygens each giving us um, six valence electrons from each one plus one more for the negative one charge. That's going to give us a total of 20 valence electrons, okay? And we can subtract the largest multiple of eight, gives us a remainder of four, divide that by two, gives you two, and 16 is eight times two. So that means that this is going to be an A, X2, E2, where the X2 comes from this two, and the E2 is this two, all right? So we can go ahead and start to draw this structure. We have uh, chlorine in the middle, surrounded by two oxygens. We can go ahead and single bond them, and draw in the remaining electrons on those oxygens. Now each oxygen has eight. Now we also have to add in these two non-bonding pairs, which would take us from 16 that's currently here to the 20 total. So we can add two there and two there. Now everything is following the octet rule. Everything has eight. If you were to calculate the formal charges as it stands right now, this is not going to end up being the most optimal um, structure for this compound. So what we're gonna do is move one of these um, electron pairs and make this a double bond okay and also don't forget to add in your brackets or braces because it's an ion and put the charge up top and now this is what this is the str the structure that we're looking for but we're going to go ahead and calculate the formal charge to verify that so the formal charge on the chlorine is seven valence brought in minus uh, one two three bonds minus one two three four non-bonding electrons, which is a formal charge of zero, okay? And now we can calculate the formal charge of um, oxygen with one bond, single bond right here. So O sub one, that's six valence brought in minus uh, one bond, minus the one, two, three, four, five, six non-bonding electrons, which gives us a minus one charge overall, okay? The, uh, now we can calculate the formal charge of oxygen with two bonds, so O sub two, which is this oxygen here. So that's six valence brought in, minus two bonds, minus one, two, three, four non-bonding electrons, which is the overall formal charge of zero. If you sum these up, it gets you minus one, negative one, which, is, which matches up to the charge on the ion, which is what we're looking for, okay? And now, don't forget up here, how we chose this oxygen to have the double bond, it could have just as easily been this one. So that's why we have to include a uh, resonant structure. So we're going to draw it again. This time the left oxygen will have the double bond and the right will have the single bond. And there we go. Okay. Now let's go ahead and talk about um, the shape. Uh, this, this compound is going to have a uh, bent shape. And with a bent shape molecule, the uh, bond angle is going to be approximately 105 degrees. All right. Uh, in terms of hybrid orbitals, because there's, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to add in these extra electron pairs. Sorry about that. Um, there's one, two, three, four bonding sites. That's going to be an sp3 hybridized, because there's four bonding sites, s and three p's. Okay, and because of the, of the non-bonding pairs, it's going to end up being a polar molecule. Alright, uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, let me know, and thanks for watching.